Hi everyone, I know that I said I didn't have time to play, and I kind of don't, but um, I know that you guys would really appreciate it if I did play some games with the deck that I just did a deck tech for, so um, let's do it. This hand's a little slow. Um, this might not be relevant, but um, we have lands and spells, so we're going to keep it. We do not have any double blue in the deck, but we will need to make blue, white, and red at some point. So I think, yeah, Delta can get like a hollowed fountain and we'll be fine. We will need to find another red source actually. So we could probably just, yeah, we can just get a steam vents with polluted Delta, which will help us ensure that we hit our double red for Thunder Mahalkite. Second of Valorous Stance. Feels less good without a Geist in our hand, but we'll see what our opponent's doing. Probably just going to go um, Steam Vents into planes. Looks like we're probably playing against junk. Uh, Bloodstained Mire is a little... Uh, it's not a spell that junk would normally play, but maybe it's like a budget version. Bla okay, so we're actually just playing a Life from the Loam deck. Interesting. Um... Well, let's go through with our plan and get our steam vents. Um, that's an interesting one. I think I'm just going to play our sulfur, fall sulfur Falls. It might be that I just want to try to get aggressive here and double bolt our opponent. Um, he surely has a better late game than we do. Black, black. Oh, I didn't even see the Lingrain Souls. Okay. Um, well, we definitely want to get our Halkite in play. Um, I do not want to use any of our burn on those tokens. So this means we're probably going to be facing like Blood Ghasts and uh, maybe, I don't know if we're going to be facing Golgar Grave Troll, but uh, let's just get aggressive with our burn now. Start trying to reduce our opponent's life total. Helix is not bad. We still need, we still have quite a few land drops that we're going to need to hit. You know, it's really unfortunate that we don't have um, Raven's Climb. Well, we're going to discard the redundant Valorous Stance. I was going to say, it's a, it's just kind of a shame that we don't have a Snapcaster Mage to buy back this burn. Probably getting Raven's Climb again. If he discards another land card, if he does, then we'll just get rid of the other Valorous Stance. Hoping that we can, we're gonna. Get, oh, if if this is okay, then we're gonna get rid of the. Unfortunately, we get rid of the Hellkite, but we're just not. We're nowhere near casting that. Okay, really, I want to draw a land in the biggest way possible. Otherwise, we'll probably have to discard this. That's a sweet one.
Guys, mode is running a bit slow, probably due for a restart, so bear with me one moment. Okay, we're back. We're at 20, our opponent's at 5. That's not the worst thing. Um, looks like we're going to have some Lingering Souls tokens to punch through. It'd be great if we can get lucky and draw like an Electrolyze. Is he just going to cast this four times? Retrace. I don't know what he's doing. Me? Okay. Uh, that's not what we wanted to see. Uh, but we're going to attack. And our opponent chumps as expected. Really want to try to close this game out. Our opponent is has a much more powerful endgame than we do and I am not actually sure what he's going to start doing but none of it can be good I mean lots of annoying things could happen, he could cast another lingering souls, is this another lingering souls? sure feels like it yup alright we really want to top a thunder mahal kite Electrolyze would be a good draw as well. So we're on the ping us to death. Okay. They ping us for one to death. Plan. Not a sweet draw. I mean, we, we will hold this up, though. Um, there is relevant targets for it in his deck. Things we would really like to exile. He will probably just... Retrace Raven's Crime, though. And if he does, I mean, then we'll just... We'll path this Spirit Token rather than discard it for no real reason. Yeah, there's one black's so probably Raven's Crime. Path the Spirit Token. Kind of gross, but necessary. Flashback on Green Souls. I mean, we have some draws that could be great. That's not one of them. Opponent just feels like he's able to jump endlessly. We really need to draw something. I mean, at this point, I'd rather just, if we draw like a burn spell. I'm going to wait for him to Raven's Crime again and send it at his face, but anything is better than feeling like we are going to lose this. Okay, so this Vengeful Pharaoh. So I think this means that if our Lightning Angel does damage to him, it will get destroyed. Whenever combat damage is dealt to you or a planes where you control eventual pharaohs in your graveyard, destroy target attacking creature. That seems a little ridiculous. There's a blood gas, would have been nice to path him, but got a flame javis for one. Oh, just another one of those. Alright. So Let's see. Electrolyze would be sweet. Ah, gosh. I mean, we're going to attack. <clears throat> so that is, is that three or four land draws in a row. I'm just F6. There's actually nothing. Well, I can, I can block. I don't know if I want to though. Like, he only has one red source, but I kind of don't. I'm gonna let the damage through. 
I mean, I don't want to say like block a blood ghast and then have him play a red source and cast this twice and kill our lightning angel. This is our only, the only thing we have going on right now. Opponent does run terminate. Could get our lightning angel terminated. Alright, well our clock has gotten pretty significant. Two, four, six, eight, and he did play red source, so maybe he could have done that. Eight, nine. Alright, well, we need to draw something. Electrolyze. That's not a bad one. As I, s I think I said this in the deck tech, it's a hostile hostile environment for Mantis Rider. All right, so I believe we will survive the swing back, but we will absolutely die uh, to, meaning we will be absolutely dead the next turn. We have to draw a burn spell or a dragon or another Mantis Rider, or maybe a Lightning Angel. Like even even if I even if I block here, um, like if I was to block one, it doesn't actually shorten our clock any. Actually, I guess it did. So we'd go take we'd be at seven, and then we could block again. I don't really want to leave it up to that though. I don't want to risk this because this is our only possible way to win backed up by a decent draw. All right, what do we get? That's good. We're just going to attack and see what happens please get through all right we're just gonna fire this off whoo that was a close one well this loan this this loan deck assault loan I've seen that name pop up it's it's a real deck in the sense that Good players want to play it. Uh, okay, so let's see. Engineered Explosives seems like it's good. Um, Celestial Purge seems like it's good. T -t -t Rest in Peace would be ridiculous in this matchup. Um, I don't know if we need Wear Tear. They may. There's an enchantment that they can play that um, if they discard cards, it makes a zombies. They can make a bunch of zombies with the Salt Loam. Um, I don't know if it's wrong to bring that in as a hedge or not. Uh, Valor Stance doesn't seem great. Mana Leak seems fine. All this other stuff seems pretty good. Um, Electrolyze seems good. You know, I don't like taking Geist out, but he isn't great against Lingering Souls. He's not bad. Well, he's not really great against Bloodgast either. You know, being that all of these things fly and block blood gas is pretty good now this does die to abrupt decay what I'd love to be able to leave like a couple of geists in is there anything maybe we don't need this wear tear these seem good against tokens this is good against all of his permanence rest in peace is insane um, these would be great in this matchup so would electrolyze man it seems good um, I 
Okay, we don't need that. We can do this, I guess. I know that he's got to be playing that enchantment. We're, we're just going to do this. We'll, we'll give this a try. Our guys fly. That's relevant. I'm going to assume he boarded in more creature removal, though. So, I don't know. Maybe we wanted to find more room for Geist. Oh, my God. This hand. We can do better than this. That's better. Flood strand for Stevens. Got to find a third land. Not a third land. We're still going to fetch. We get another draw step. All right, faceless looting. That's no good. That puts things in the graveyard. Ah, oh, man, rest in peace. It would have been fantastic. Like, oh, man, we're already getting the, the, the triggers from Bloodgast. We'll probably end up pathing one of these Bloodgasts. That's kind of why we left them in. Don't want to fetch and shock just to put our opponent at 17. That kind of makes it almost as if these blood guests have already attacked. All right, another lightning angel. All right, we're going to pass. We'll go ahead and upkeep path one of these guys. I'm not going to bolt the blood ghast. That just feels real bad. It's like we're spending a bolt to kill a thing that as soon as he plays a land will come back. That's that is mindless. That will not be happening. Alright. Looting probably bad for us. Lingering Souls is not great for us either. And you can flash back these lootings as well. Rest in peace would be a fantastic draw. Yep, that happens. All right, well, we'll do something with our mana and bolt our opponent. Uh, land is good. We will shock and play a Mantis Rider. Probably just get Abrupt Decade, but the fact that he has Vigilance is pretty sweet. That also kills him. Well, we're going to play Lightning Angel. Uh, it dies. All right, so we're going to nine. Maybe we do want to bring in Geists just to make his removal bad. He has plenty of blockers, though, and lots of Lingering Souls tokens. Um, so land was okay. I'm not even sure that we can attack here. We're going to die to these lingering souls tokens. If we attack, we'll take out three tokens. We'll take four on the swing back. they put us at five. Um, for very little gain, if we just stand up to block, then we're definitely going to go to two. 
we're going to be taking five and go to four. Um, yeah, we're probably not going to win this game. Uh, it's kind of the same whether we attack or block. And if our opponent has a removal spell, then we just take all of it. I'll attack. I mean, we're likely dead anyway. He may just decide to jump with one spirit. He'll probably throw four in front of it. But oh, he just did none. He just doesn't even care. All right. He's probably just going to kill it then. And then swing for a lot. Oh, we don't get to cast that card. Great. Well, that's actually reason to run guys because it's a targeted ability. Okay, is this dead? Seven, we're gonna go to two. Yeah, there's no way we're coming back from this. You know, I could probably put a Sphinx's Revelation in the sideboard of this deck. Um, Let's see, yeah, we're dead. We'll just concede and try better. Better luck, game three. Uh, okay, so things to consider. Path is good against blood gas. Is it good enough? Geist does not seem fantastic in this matchup. I mean, Path gets rid of Blood Ghast, but uh, it's not amazing. I guess, uh, I guess it's worth it to keep him in for that reason. I did not see that enchantment. I'm taking that out. Um, maybe the leaks aren't good. Maybe I want to shave a couple of leaks. Or do something like this. I guess the leaks are actually not bad against um they're not bad against faithless looting, and we are on the play. Ah, that faithless looting costs one actually, so maybe it's not good enough. They're good they're not bad against faithless looting because I like denying him the ability to get things in his graveyard, but I guess they're only good against the it's really only good against the flashback portion. I mean, I like Valorous Dance because it makes Geist indestructible, but we have to get both in hand for it to be relevant. And he's got tons of chump blockers, so we don't really get in for that much damage. Um, I guess we'll shave a leak. Let's give this a try. See if Geist is as bad as we think he is. Um, this hand cannot be good if we want to kill him. I mean, maybe we should keep it, but it's incredibly slow. It can get rid of Lingering Souls tokens. I don't know if that's good enough. Um, I It just has no pressure. I'm going to mulligan. It could be one of those times where we mulligan into some terrible hand, but... Eh, it's one of those times we mulligan into probably a terrible hand, but we're going to keep this one. Play our tap land. I mean, he doesn't seem to play thoughts he's in Inquisition. We'll probably just get this Raven's Crime away or something, but... I mean, if he doesn't play thoughts he's then we could conceivably get to cast it. He does run a ton of removal though, so probably just die.
probably just faithless looting here. I was really hoping we would draw into a rest in peace when we mulliganed there. Dredge. Yeah, things are getting bad already. Um, that helps a little. At least we have a nice curve. Um, we're going to go ahead and start cracking our fetch lands, trying to thin our deck a little bit. Oof, this again. All right. Wouldn't mind it if we drew a Mantis Rider. If we get untap, go Mantis Rider. Okay, so we take out the Wear Terror and then he plays on the Infestation. That's exactly what I was worried about. Um. Really, probably want to play save this for lingering souls. Um, I'm gonna play the bloodstained mire, and I'll crack it and probably get a hollowed fountain. Oh, I can't black red, so let's probably get a sacred foundry. Hopefully they fix however they messed up the art on these dual dual lands here. Uh, this is going to be gross. Six. Gosh, maybe we do want to... And he's getting life. Maybe we... Mm. You know, I think we do want to... We have our mountain now. Oh, our mountain's in our hands, so then... Let's see if we get a sacred foundry. I'm not even gonna bother now. Like, if we get a sacred foundry, we're taking three so that we can electrolyze and save one point of damage. It does give us a draw. I thought we could get a mountain. I didn't realize it was in our hand. Um, see, like, this would have been a scalding tarn or something else in our other deck. We probably could have got a basic land of some sort. Um. Want to electrolyze. I mean, sure, it's kind of gross, but we also need to see some other cards, I think. So, drawing a card is not bad. Purge is good for. I guess it'll in this case it'll get rid of zombie infestation. I hope this guy doesn't play land. Then he does not get back his blood gas yet. Nope, he's gonna play land. Life from the lawn, play land, get back blood gas. I think though that we just play our lightning angel attack, hold it back to block, play a Thunder Mahal kite, attack. I think that's what the play is. Hopefully she just doesn't get exploded. So this could be incorrect. I mean, I guess it depends on how many zombies he decides to make this turn with his infestation. I mean, this is eight right here. It's a lot. And if he kills our lightning angel, then we're going to take significantly more. Let's see, this would put us to 
six. And then we could crack back for, yeah, we have to block. We actually definitely have to block. Um, well, I guess we'll just block this. He will probably just play a land to get it back, but. Or. Did he already play a land? I can't remember. Well, he will now. <clears throat> no Thundermaw Hellkite for us. Um, Helix could be good. Uh, well, we know we're attacking. And we know we can't. Actually, this means that we are going to purge. Unfortunately, he can just zombie infestation in response. Um, I don't want to kill a zombie with a helix, but we may need to kill one of these to preserve our life total. So he's discarded. He's going to get a zombie. And if we kill it, he's probably going to get... He'll just, in response, get more zombies, is my guess. So that would give him... If we go to kill it... He's just got this engine with this thing, with life from the loam. And this. Um, if he does, let's say he just discards and because we're killing it then he's going to get two more zombies so that's two four six eight power there uh eight power and we can block a blood gas and he looks another one so we'll take eight and we'll be at oh well we'd be we'd stable it we'd be at three and then we could attack for eight and have a blocker only um I think it's correct to go ahead and kill this thing, but I don't think we're winning this game. Yeah, so he just discarded the rest of his hand, like we thought. So what's the other option? We we block one and we take ten. He looks at our opponent's face. Go to one. Untap and attack with for eight, which doesn't quite get us there. I mean, we're not going to live this way either. So we helix this right here, and we go to. Sorry, I'm getting tired. Um, Eleven. Then we take eight, and we go to three. Uh, I'm just gonna helix our opponent's face. Like helixing this doesn't really actually save us any at all. Can we draw? Of course. Well, we can play Hellkite, kill the spirits, attack, put it at two, and that's all we got.
because we're just dead on the swing back. So we'll attack and make our opponent kill us. But I want to, I want to hit him in the face with a thunder maw. He actually gained some life from these things, and he gained just enough that it saved him. Had he not gained like two life, whenever this goes, uh, well, I know he gained, he gained some life from it. Then we would actually be dead right now. Okay, well, uh, we did not win the match. Um, but, I mean, I'm still very glad that we played it. Um, what did we learn? It's hard to say off only one match. Yeah, I, it wasn't even one that was particularly good for Geist. Um, I don't know. I think that we have more play testing to do before we can come to any additional conclusions on how we should change anything in the deck. But all right, guys, uh, I've got to get to bed. I stayed up a little later than I had intended so that I could not only give you guys the deck tech, but at least let you see the deck in action. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of the deck. Budget blue at red geist. Uh, pretty aggressive. And yeah, alright, I'm going to go to bed guys, uh, draw well, smash face.